In this 3D Vista beginner tutorial, you'll learn how to use 3D Vista in just 15 minutes to create a Matterport style virtual tour with no monthly fees. Or how would you like a virtual tour that uses 360 videos with hotspots? Even hotspots that can move around. Those are just some of the effects that you can do with 3D Vista, a desktop based virtual tour software. If you've been researching virtual tour software, you've probably heard about 3D Vista, but you may have put off learning it because it seems complicated. Well, today's the day you learn 3D Vista in less than 15 minutes. We'll learn not only its key features, but we'll also learn how to create a virtual tour with 3D Vista with a Matterport style zooming effect. And we'll even learn how to embed a video on our tour. All right, so we have a special guest in the show today, Nick Powell. Now, Nick has been shooting virtual tours professionally for four years, and he's built up a successful virtual tour business, shooting for commercial clients all across the UK. He's passionate about creating high-quality virtual tours using 3D Vista and a mirrorless camera. Hey there, Mike. How's it going? Hey, good to see you, buddy. Thanks for coming to the show. Now, I told our viewers that you've been shooting for four years. Can you give them an idea of around how many virtual tours you've shot in that time? I'd probably say that I've shot over the past, I'm in my fourth year now of doing, uh, of doing 360 tours. And um, I say I've probably shot between 80 and 100 tours in that time. Um, bearing in mind that I, I majority, the majority of shoots that I do I actually shoot for uh, commercial clients. Wow. That's amazing. So why do you use 3D Vista instead of other software? Well, I've, I've been using 3D Vista now since I began doing virtual tours really, um, which is say is, is almost four years. And I, I researched a lot of different uh, 360 providers um, before I started using 3D Vista. I wanted something that was, that it was, it was a bit more advanced, um, something that I could customize completely. So if a client said to me that, you know, I want to have my branding on there, uh, I want to have a certain menu style, I want to have this, I want to have that. Um, I wanted something that I could customize, but was, that was going to be easy to customize. Uh, so that's why I went down the 3D Vista route. And uh, yeah, I think, it's, uh, I think it's absolutely fantastic. So yeah. Nice. So can you show me like your top five favorite features of 3D Vista? I have got five favorite features, um, but there's probably more. But uh, I'll just rush through these. But um, the, the first one is their new e-learning feature. It's, uh, the potential is absolutely huge, uh, whether you're working in the education sector, uh, safety training for staff uh, within your business, you know, it's, uh, it's incredibly, incredibly powerful. Um, and again, quite easy to use, um, but you know, the ability to incorporate 360 video as well as 360 photos uh, with, a, with an e-learning feature is, um, is absolutely fantastic. And um, this is one that I use all the time now. It's perfect for real estate. Um, having the ability to do a live guided tour and have a video call built into the tour. So if you're showing someone around a property, you can actually chat to them. There are obviously a lot of other um, 360 providers that, that have incorporated this feature, but I don't think anyone has incorporated it um, as cleanly and smoothly as, as 3D Vista have here. The hotspots comes into the customization side of things. Um, there is so much customization. You can have polygon hotspots to, to sort of select certain areas of something, 3D projected hotspots, uh, video, audio, uh, embedded HTML iframes, all sorts of things. So, um, so again, it just gives you a huge amount of functionality um, and customization of your tour. Animated panoramas. Uh, this is something that I have done for a client a couple of times. Just gives you the ability to use um, uh, a video and actually embed it within the 360 image itself. Uh, so it kind of looks like a video, but it's but it's not a video. Um, and again, it's just another way of just bringing your tour to life a bit more. Um, live panoramas. This is one that I, again I use a lot, and it probably is definitely in my top five favorite features. Um, and you can see here, it just gives you the ability just to basically do a, a sort of a kind of a time lapse from day to, you know, sunset to night and loads of potential. I mean, I won't go into the, the, the possibilities with it because there are so many possibilities. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it's nice to have that feature built in. And again, it's incredibly easy to use. 
um, the 3D transition effect. This is something I speak to people quite a bit about on the, uh, on the Facebook groups. Quite a few people like Matterport um, and uh, they're looking for something that has got a transition similar to them. This is as close as I think you're going to get. Um, uh, but the benefit is, is that you don't have to click on hundreds and hundreds of different hotspots to navigate around, which I think is a really, really nice feature to have here just to make it look a bit more, uh, a bit more immersive as if you're actually stepping forward within the, within the tour. Uh, external content so if you wanted to put a booking section on there you can i could go i could go on and on and on but the ones that i've sort of focused on there are my um are my favorite favorite features now for those who are watching who haven't tried 3d vista yet about how long does it take to learn the 3d vista basics and i'd say that you, you could be up and running within within half a day um sort of, of, of trying it out mm, not long at all can you build a very simple virtual tour on 3D Vista and uh, walk us through it? Yeah, no problem at all. Um, so what you've got here is the start screen um, that you'll see when you first uh, launch 3D Vista. Uh, but if we just click on create a new project, the next screen is uh, basically just giving the option to choose a skin. There's, there's a few views to choose from. Uh, if we just use this one for now, unfortunately I need to keep the windows open here because it's absolutely boiling hot in England at the moment. So. Um, just listen to the birds whilst I'm doing this. <laughs> we'll be using this one, but you can also import uh, 360 video and a normal video as well. So click on import panorama and we'll just choose some here and it will load that media in. So if you want to reorganize these under the publish tab, you can just drag and drop them into the order you want them to be, which is great. And then to start, we just double click on front and then there we go. We've got our 360 image in here. Choose the initial viewpoint so let's say we want the tour to start make sure it's nice and straight here so we click on this button here it's a set as initial viewpoint and then the next thing you want to do is obviously start adding your hotspots to connect to your images which is really really straightforward you've got a number of different options with hotspots we'll just click on image uh, it's the one that people will use the most because this is basically the library again that is all created for you so you've got all of these different arrows um, circles doors information hotspots, all sorts of things. So it's all categorized here. So I'm, I'm gonna choose these doors here. Um, in fact, let's go with one of the animated ones. Okay, there we go. So let's change the size of that. And then the next step is you wanna choose what happens when someone clicks on this hotspot. So that's where the add action button comes in, in the top right hand corner here. So we click on add action and these are all the different options that you can set. But you can open up a photo album, you can launch a video, a 360 video, all, all of these there's tons and tons of different options here, which is great. And so we'll click on open panorama and click on reception and done. And then what we can also do is add a cap to the bottom. Uh, now this is designed to be a tripod cap to cover your tripod, but I always, always recommend to people to remove your tripod. But if we click on add cap, I've got one of my own ones imported here. Um, but 3D Vista have got their own one in there that it comes with. So we double click on that and you can change the size of it. Uh, and then another great feature is that you can apply the config to, say you've got 100, 100 panos in here. You don't want to have to do that for every single one. So you just click select all and then done. And then it replies, it applies that cap to all of them. So let's move to the reception and then we'll have the hotspot to, to go back outside. Add action, open panorama, front, select. Um, this smart entry view dynamic you'll see in a minute is basically what gives you that sort of Matterport style um, zoom through uh, into each, each image and in order for that to work you do have to have an image linked back to another one. Just do this smart entry view. Done. And then let's add one more. Add action. Open panorama. Cinema. Done. I'll quickly add in another, I'll show you another feature which I love which is this video feature. Um, you can actually import a video onto the screens or superimpose a video onto the screens. You see I've clicked there in the top left hand corner and, and when I drag the mouse to the right it's automatically following the shape of the screen which is really good so it ensures that it's the right projection. You've got here players loop and we want it to play on start when someone comes into this pano um, and then you've got a blending feature which basically takes away the harsh sort of sharp edge of the video. Okay let's preview this um, and let's zoom in into there. Okay. And let's go into here and watch this video. There we are. 
really, really, that's a great feature. People, people love that. So um, yeah, that's it, the basics and beginnings of uh, creating a tour. Nice. So not too hard, right? Where would they learn more about 3D Vista? Their, their YouTube channel is really, really good. I've got a few videos on my YouTube channel as well, which is uh, just Nick Powell Photography. Um, quite a few people may have seen my videos already. So, uh, so yeah, if, if, if people wanted to jump on there, they can, uh, they can sort of take a deeper look into how 3D Vista works. Um, but yeah, it's the best, best places to, uh, to find out more about it. All right, so be sure to check out Nick's tutorials on his YouTube channel. Now, where would people buy 3D Vista and how much does it cost? So uh, 3D Vista cost-wise um, is, is 499 euros. Um, again, sounds like a lot. Some people go, oh God, that's really expensive. But it's really not expensive at all. Uh, when you consider what you're getting software-wise, um, how many features are in there, and the fact that you're not paying a monthly subscription. Um, I mean, I actually managed to pay off 3D Vista uh, or get the money back that I paid for 3D Vista after doing two tours. So, you know, it's um, after that, it's just, it's, it's, you, you know, it's paid for itself. I've been a 3D Vista um, official reseller for a, some time now. Um, what I offer is uh, basically if anyone buys 3D Vista through me and uh, that I will actually give them a one hour uh, training session included. Um, I am actually going to be creating a, uh, a training video set soon. Um, it's just, I've been really, really busy. <laughs> I just haven't had time, the time to do it. But, uh, but yeah, that's gonna be really good. Um, so I'll be actually off, be offering uh, access to that course uh, for people that purchase the software through me. And so, yeah. So now you know another way of standing out from the crowded virtual tour marketplace to differentiate yourself um, over other virtual tour photographers with 3D Vista. Now, if you also want to stand out through excellent image quality, be sure to check out the Virtual Tour Edge HQ Method class. Yes, do check out the H HQ Method class. It's, uh, it's brilliant. It's really, really good. So uh, well done, Mike, on that. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, great to talk to you. Yeah, and we'll, um, we'll, we'll speak soon. All right. Thanks again, Nick. And we'll see you in 360.